everyone, I'm so sorry it's been such a long time since my last tutorial but things got really kind of busy and crazy but I'm doing a requested look and this was requested by Louise quite a long time ago but I finally got around to doing it and it's um, Evil Morgana from Merlin so I've already done the original Morgana look and I will link to that in the description box if you'd like to see it. This is kind of when she's gone a bit more to the dark side so it's got some really dark smoky smudgy eyes which I originally thought were just black but they've actually got some green in as well and then the hair is really easy to do you just have lots of texture in your hair and then do a little bit of a messy updo at the top. So I really hope you enjoy this video and let's get started. Okay, so I've already gone ahead and done my foundation and I used the Revlon Colour Stay and the Colour Ivory. I just did it for speed and I just used the same colour I would use every day or you could go one shade lighter if you'd like. And the next thing I'm going to do is to contour my cheekbones and I'm going to actually use eyeshadow. This is the Makeup Academy Undress Palette. I'm going to use a mixture of this um, light brown here and this slightly dark one here. Just because I find that if you use bronzer for... Um, contouring then it can look a little bit too warm for this look so all I'm going to do is use a blusher brush or a contour brush if you want I'm just going to squeeze the bristles here and just apply it to the hollows of my cheeks and up to my temples if you want to see a more in-depth tutorial on contouring I did a whole how-to video so I'll link you to that in the description box if you'd like to see a little bit more in-depth I'm just gonna keep applying this into the hollows of my cheeks until I've got the desired effect. So you can already see the side looks more defined than here. And you can even put just a little bit down the sides of your nose if you want, just because we really want to have quite a sharp and defined face. We're going to skip the blusher because we don't want any colour or shimmer on our cheeks and move straight onto the eyes. I'm going to start with the brows because they're quite strong and defined like the faces. So I'm going to use this dark brown colour here, but choose one that matches your um, natural hair colour. I'm just going to run this through the brow just to kind of darken it up a little bit. You don't want really over plucked brows for this look because she's quite a strong thick brow so just fill it in until you're happy with it. And I like using um, powder and a little angled liner brush I just find this looks the most natural and just use little strokes through the brow. Okay, moving on to the eyes, I'm just going to prime them with a MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. This will just help the shadow to last a little bit longer and to go on smoother as well. Next I'm going to apply this light green colour here, just to the inner part of the eye. And try and get matte shades if you can, but it doesn't matter if they have a little bit of shimmer in them. And these eyeshadows are really not pigmented at all, so... I'm just going to work quite hard to get some colour on my lid and then I'll be back with you. Okay, and then we want to darken up the outer edges, so I'm going to use this slightly darker green colour here and just pop it on the outer edges. Then I'm going to take this green here, which is slightly darker again, on the very outer corner bit. Now Morgana's eyes are all lined round in black but it's all really soft and smoky so I'm just going to take a black shadow on a liner brush and I'm just going to really messily put it onto um, my lash line. I'm not being neat at all about this, just getting it on there. Now in some pictures all you can see is black on her lid so it kind of depends on your eye shape as to um, how much green and black you see. But you can just bring the black up a bit high if you don't want to see so much green shadow on your lid. I'm also going to bring this black underneath the lower lash line. And again you can go as dramatic as you like with this. And I'm not putting any shadow or liner on the waterline, I'm just going underneath. And don't worry about all this fallout, I'll clear that up in a minute. Just these eyeshadows I'm using have quite a lot of fallout on them wherever I'm using them. The other thing you can do is just to pop a little bit of that darker green onto um, your liner brush and put it on the outer corner as well, just for a little touch of that green colour amongst the black. Next I'm just going to put a tiny bit of black through the crease of the eye 
So just place it on with a liner brush to start off with. You want to take a blending brush or a crease brush and just kind of soften and work this into the eye socket. Then you can build up the black if you want to a little bit more for a bit more dimension and depth. Okay, then I'm going to curl my lashes and then add some mascara and I'm using the Colossal by Maybelline. you just want something nude and without any shimmer so I'm using number 7 perfect lips pencil in number 20 nude I'm just going to line my lips and then fill them in with the pencil Okay, now moving on to hair. All I did was when my hair was damp after washing it, I just put it up in a bun or you could plait or braid it. Basically, you just want to get some texture into it. I'm just going to let it down and as you can see, I'm kind of left with like some crazy curls and stuff. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is to gather a small section from the back and just kind of give it some volume so you could back comb it. I'm just using my fingers just to give it some volume and just kind of comb it into a little bit of a bouffant thing I'm going to secure it with one of these little butterfly clips I'm just going to grab the front sections and I'm just going to kind of cross these over so you get kind of a messier parting And again, I'm just securing these with some little clips. Okay, so as you can see, I've just kind of got the height up here now, and then I've crisscrossed the front here. And then if you want, you can just bring up some of the side pieces just to kind of complete the middle, kind of, I call it half up, half down. And then I'm just going to use some fluffy pins or Kirby grips, whatever you call them pop this into place then you just kind of want to mess up um, your hair at the bottom you can kind of mess up the bit at the top here as well so this is the finished hair and makeup look for evil Morgana from Merlin I really hope you've enjoyed this kind of more messy and disheveled type look and if you did then feel free to give this video a like and leave me a comment because I love getting back to you all as well thank you so much for watching this video and I will hopefully see you soon with another tutorial bye